again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 7th of February, 2019. Article on CBS this morning, posted on the 7th of 2019. A record 4,239 guns were seized at U.S. airports last year. Most were loaded. A record number of firearms were discovered at U.S. airports checkpoints last year with more than 4,200 guns found at 249 airports nationwide, according to new government data. More than 86% of the guns found were loaded, according to the Transport Security Administration, TSA. The airports that saw the most firearms discovered sit along the Sun Belt, from Atlanta to Arizona, in states with looser gun laws, reported CBS News correspondent Chris Van Cleve. CBS News dug through thousands of police records trying to understand why this problem continues to grow. Our investigation found while thousands of guns are spotted by TSA screeners, some appear to be getting through. At Dallas Fort Worth Airport alone, guns were found in carry on bags 219 times last year. Nationally, it happened nearly 12 times per day, with passengers almost always saying it was a mistake. The 4,239 guns stopped at TSA checkpoints last year is a 7% increase over 2017. Ten airports accounted for nearly a third of all cases. Atlanta had the most, with 298 firearms found in carry-on bags. Asked why he thinks the numbers are growing each year, TSA Administrator David Pukowski said, quote, I'm just going to guess here. I think more people are just simply carrying weapons in the country, and we reflect that we're seeing around the country. Quote, when you're going through a TSA screen checkpoint, you know you're there. You just don't happen upon that. Before you hit the first person in line, just take a quick look through your bag, he added. TSA is working with airports to improve signage reminding people guns cannot be placed in carry-on bags. The agency also demonstrates how to properly pack and load a firearm in a locked case and check baggage. Otherwise, you risk arrest. TSA can also seek fines of up to $13,000 for anyone violating the laws. But not all guns are found. Last month, screeners in Atlanta missed one in a man's carry-on. Our review of 2017 police records from seven airports found at least three cases where it appeared guns had gotten through the checkpoints. I'm a little troubled by that fact that the gun went through x-ray machine and was missed, Van Cleve told Pekoski. Oh, I'm troubled by that too. I think that everybody in TC is troubled by it, Pekoski said. We're doing everything we can to figure out why it happened. Our investigation found in the vast majority of cases in 2017 it was men and 63% were white, most range in age from 30 to their 50s. But guns were also found in the luggage of an 84-year-old woman, a 10-year-old boy, a pastor, and an airport worker. That's sort of scary when you stop to think about it, huh? You know, I remember in California, an employee who worked in the baggage handling, I think it was baggage handling, he was distraught, got on a plane with a 44 Magnum. The plane was going to San Jose from, I believe, Orange County, and he shot through the doors, killed both pilots. Obviously, the plane went down. Planes and guns definitely don't mix. Good thing they're catching as many as they are. I think the fines need to be a little bit steeper. I think a little bit of time in prison is probably not a bad idea. Thanks for listening. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same.